Well, Shad, thanks for joining me today. I know off season is usually time to go uh, to Hawaii or time to go somewhere on a trip, but for you, it was about getting back your health. How do you feel, number one, and how's that shoulder coming around? I feel great, man. Um, I've been here, I've been around the building for a little bit now, um, rehabbing and different things like that, trying to get my strength back and my motion back, and I, I feel good. Is it more physically, uh, like getting yourself back, getting back to feeling like you're 100%? Or is it mentally, too, getting over the challenge of, hey, can I trust this shoulder right oh, now? I think it's a little bit of both. But I got, you know, give credit to our staff. We've got some of the best trainers here. And I got one of the best athletic trainers, you know, in the world, and, and David Alexander down in Miami. So I've been both working with, with our staff and my, my personal trainer, um, get myself back in shape and, and get myself back healthy. How is it a veteran coming into uh, – off-season conditioning, getting into OTAs. Do you have to pace yourself? Because, you know, with you being out for the remainder of that last season, uh, I'm sure you're anxious to get back on the football field. Yeah, a little bit, but I've been doing a lot, like I said, with my trainer. So uh, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty much the same same thing for me right now. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm back into my routine, and I've been working out for a while now. So uh, transitioning from, from, from that to, to here now, you know, in the off-season um, workouts or whatever, it's, it's pretty easy for me. I've been asking a lot of the guys uh, – going into your first meeting you know you, you got to push 2016 aside and focus on 2017. what do you think that message is uh, among your teammates among the coaching staff and this organization of getting back to where you were but getting further than where you were um i think we just got to build off what we did last year you know it's behind us uh, like coach said now it's just zero in uh, what we did last year good or bad we can't, we, can't, we can't count on that. You know, it's a new season, new start. So I think the, the most important part now is just to be a little bit better, do a little bit better than we did last year, and I think we'll be fine. For yourself, a new defensive coordinator in Matt Burke, Vance going to Denver, uh, what do you expect? Uh, what, let us know a little bit about the guy that's going to be leading you guys on that side of the football. Um, Coach Burks was a close friend with uh, VJ. Uh, I think he knows the system. He knows the plays. He, he, he's, he's, a, he's a great guy, you know, to – to take that, to, to fill those shoes or whatever, to fill that role. Um, so it should be fun, it should be interesting. We pretty much run the same scheme, same same defense. So um, it, it should be good. What motivates you, you know, as you're getting into your, you know, years of being a veteran? What motivates you every day, every year to, to bring out your best? I just want to be the best, that's all. Um, every year I want to, uh, you know, just be a little bit better. Whatever I can do to help this team win and for myself just be a little bit better. Do you feel like you're a leader by example or a little bit of both? You know, uh, about using using some motivation to get guys going. I've never really been the rah rah guy, the much the one who do uh, the mo the most talking or whatever. But you know, I try to lead by my play, my example in the weight room, the way I train, the way I work, different things like that, and and, and hopefully hopefully guys will notice and and, and and take on. Take us out to the practice field last year because it's got to be cool. Uh, at least if you're an offensive guy, hearing Adam Gase, your head coach, kind of like talk and smack to somebody else on the defensive side. But is, is that pretty cool for your head coach to come out and say, hey, you know, this guy's going to run a route on you or you're going to defend Devontae and you're going to shut him down. Does that motivate you guys? Oh, yeah. There? I mean, it makes us compete. You know, he's a competitive guy. You know, I think it makes it make, it make the team better. You know, he's one of the youngest, I think he's the youngest coach in the NFL, so he can relate to guys a little bit more, a little bit better. So it, it's fun. It makes it make the whole atmosphere fun and, 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 and enjoyable and, like, and competitive. What's your expectations? coming into this season now, uh, having the experience that you have, knowing where the defense needs to improve. What's your expectations, not only for yourself, but your side of the football? Um, just be the best defense we can be. Um, it's, it's early right now, so I, I don't have no predictions or nothing like that, man. All I, all I say is I think we got, we got potential, and the sky's the limit for this defense. If we all come together and buy in, I think we can do some amazing things. Well, Rashad, thanks for your time. I know we'll be catching up to you the closer we get to OTAs in the regular season, but we're looking for big and better things from that side and, and from this entire team. And I know you're one of those leaders that will provide that. Thanks. Oh, yeah, thank you. You got it. Appreciate it, bud.